Hello? Yeah, we are. Today we are going to check uh, this laptop here. Yeah, this laptop came from another computer shop. And uh, the guy is telling me the, the computer is running but there's no display. So let's check through a multimeter. Let's check the charger, where, whether we are having a voltage on the charger. Yeah, we have a 19 volts. That's okay. Okay, this is the, for the power supply. Let me take the charger itself. Since we know the machine is working. Oh. Yeah, we got 19 volts on the charger. So let's check how, let me try to show you how the machine is behaving. You plug in the DC jack, the machine is going to come on, but you're not going to get any display. Yeah, machine never came with a keyboard, it's just from another computer shop. Let me see this light here. Yeah, the laptop is on. Let's try to see whether the fans, yeah, the fans are going to spin. Yeah, the fans are spinning, that meaning the, the that means the machine is on now. But guys, what you are not going to get is a display. Even if you are going to run this machine for the whole day, we are not going to, to get a display at any one time. And so, I don't know whether you can be able to see the lights on, just to confirm to you that the machine is on. But by the fan, by the fact that the fans are spinning, I think that's a enough indication to tell you that the machine is on. So, we are not going to get a display. And so we are going to work on this machine and the chip that is causing this problem from experience it's the bios chip uh, let me get uh, the bios chip when the bios chip is not okay the machine will spin the fans but you're not going to get a display the other thing, yeah, there in some laptop, the BIOS chip can kill the whole machine. Like, you're not getting a fan, fan, fan are not working. The machine is just dead by itself. That's also another sign that the BIOS need an issue. But of course, in that case, you're going to do a little bit more of measuring using a multimeter to try to get the correct voltages. There are voltages that have to be there where the machine is not working or where the machine is on or off. So let me take some flux here. We need some flux to be able to remove this chip here. This is the ME region. The ME region chip. So let me grab hot here. We are going to go under the microscope so that uh, I don't know whether you're able to see this chip. Let me try to bring it close to to the camera. So let's go under the microscope. This is our chip. Come with some with the, with the hot air. Let me try to position the chip there in in a correct way or in the correct posture. Yeah, I think it's okay. So let me come with some hot air. Yeah, we remove the chip. Yeah, we are going to have a new firmware in the chip, written on the chip. Uh, new firmware, the correct firmware, free from errors, and that will solve the problem here. So. Let's take our programmer. Yeah, we, yeah. So yeah, this is the programmer I used to flash up the chip with. So the chip is ready. So we will take the chip back onto the laptop and try to see whether the laptop is going to come on. So let us solder back the chip very quickly. So I want to do this in a very quickly way because I have other machines waiting for me. So guys, 
I'm going to make a short video on this so that uh, let me try to position that uh, this chip uh, so here you have to be very precise uh, sometimes aligning the chip is not very easy especially if you are a shaky hand guy in this job if you have shaky hands you will have problems soldering back chips or maybe desoldering chips so it's important to try to be stable and the chip is okay now i think we can solder so let's solder back the chip some hot air here and there Okay, some hot here. Yeah. Oh, oh, the chip is good. Yeah, the chip is going sideways, and that is not what I want. Yeah, but I think chip is back too. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. That's the correct position, so that's okay. So let's clean, let's do a little bit of cleaning so that we can clean some flux here. Yeah, let's do some brushing, we brush off some flux. Uh, I think it looks fine. Should I add some here? using some alcohol remember guys you don't wash yeah you cannot wash your motherboard with some water you yeah, know it looks like some water but this is isopropyl alcohol so it don't damage your motherboard by using water to clean the the flux to wash off the flux so let's test this laptop now so let's see whether the this problem is uh, is going to go away yeah so let me fix it very quickly i have other jobs to attend to so having other customers here waiting for me but uh, i'll do it very quickly so that i can go to the next job and come up with a charger so let's see whether this is going to work uh, let me try to connect Yeah, the charger the machine is on here yeah. as you can see now you have a display we also have a bios reset message here on the screen yeah and that is how sometimes you'll find out that uh, the the me region can really cause your laptop not to work and as a client or as just a layman you may keep thinking that your laptop is having other issues maybe the screen is not okay you start suspecting things that are not there but it's all about pro having a firmware into the right chip sold uh, the chip back to the motherboard and the machine will be okay yeah uh, I, I i've seen this issue is very common in some laptops like uh, in lenovo's the laptop will just die uh, also in some hps the laptop will will be dead it's not working you put a charger and sometimes no lights and you'll think that your motherboard is shorted or maybe something has just happened to your motherboard and motherboard is not going to work again but that is not the case just need to, to flush out the the chip have a new firmware to the chip and everything is okay so i'll put the hard disk and other stuff here can i check one more time with the hard disk maybe yeah still okay it's still working fine and so the issue is gone now we have solved that issue and so guys as i told you before i wanted it to be a i wanted it to be a very quick video because i have more jobs to attend to i have some backlogs here i need to to do to work on them so that the, the backlog can reduce and also next week i need to have worked on all these machines so that i can take new machines new batches of machines 
so guys eh, if you have a problem with this one you can consult us we repair laptops desktop eh, construct tablets macbooks imacs imac yeah those gadgets we can work on them so guys that's all for today you can subscribe to support our work like and share and let me know what you think on the comment section if you have a question you can also address it in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so that is all for today and we will continue making other videos short or long and that's all guys bye and enjoy the rest of the day that's all let's meet in the next video